What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. What are you guys are doing that I'm doing right? I'm doing all right. Hope you guys are doing good. Today, we're back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to something different. I, did, I saw it and I was like, I feel like this would be lit. So, I'm, I'm going to react to it. So, it's basically drivers avoid being carjacked by the cartel in Mexico. Mexico? Shout out to everybody who, who in Mexico watching this. Y'all be on some wild shit, man. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it, I like it. But it is basically, I, I don't know if these are civilians. I don't know if these are other um, cartel members who are avoiding, you know. But so they say, drivers just avoiding, you know what I mean? They ain't giving no in-depth on whatever it is. But we're going to react to it, all right? But if you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. You know how we do. We always show the like sign up. Love everybody, let's get into it. In a self-defense encounter for every move we make, the bad guy's gonna make one as well. Thanks for joining us on today's active self-protection lesson. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Nuevo Laredo in New Mexico. Today's video is brought to you by the- New Mexico is in the United States though. Why, is it, is it, is it not? I thought New Mexico was a state in New, in the United States. It's in New Mexico. Y'all heard that, right? Generosity of new bold targets. New bold targets are self-sealing, reactive polymer targets that act Ooh. like steel targets for training and practice, but are safe. The they allow bullets to pass completely through the target without ricochet or lead splatter. Check out their links in the description and thank them for bringing us today's video. Nuevo Laredo is right across the Rio Grande from Laredo, Texas, and I'm almost positive here but this is an American who's just come across the border and it's about to get real. Oh! The shots? Not eye shots. This is the cartel. Yeah. Wow. Bro, listen, you press some brakes. I don't ram some people on that road. No cap. Comments in the description on the raw, which I have linked in the description, you can see that this guy is now headed back towards the border crossing and back on his way to Laredo, and that's where this one ends. Scary stuff, lots of lessons to come out of this one. Have a question for you. What's your favorite ASP saying? I know I keep them, kind of a bunch of them around that we say again and again to help us remember. Which one's your favorite? I know that people are going to ask on the get-go on this one, why would you go into Mexico with your car from Laredo, Texas? And the honest reason is there's a host of reasons that you could. Many people who live on border towns like this, they cross the border multiple times. They got business reasons to go back and forth. Sometimes family living on both sides and those kinds of things. So these kinds of crossings do happen, especially early. Okay, so I guess the best advice to when you cross in the border, don't drive over with U.S. plates, I'm assuming. Texas and Texas is Texas where the border is, or California. I'm assuming, let me know down in the description. In the morning, six o'clock like this, this could be for work. Now, we see what's coming here. This looks like an atypical uh, you know, street light here coming, because you see people coming out of the way and a bunch of people that are outside of the cars. Now, I know to people in suburban America, this is going to look like way something's crazy right now. But you know, if you have never driven in Mexico, you know, or driven in other parts of the world, sometimes, you know, you get across the border and, and the culture shifts very, very much. Now, of course, right across the border, across the Rio Grande in Texas, you know that there's an awful lot of drug cartels that are down there. Yeah. So when they recognize what's going on here, you better be able to react in a hurry and know your culture. Now, he thought he was just going to pull through, but of course now he's got a truck blocking the way. So you got to be able to think on your feet. The number one I was thing just about to say. that you have to be able to do 
is to continue to think, to not get into that vapor lock, but to continue to do that Colonel Boyd OODA loop where you are observing and orienting, deciding what to do and acting yeah. on it, and keep that loop moving and moving quickly. It's the quickest decision maker who is actually thinking who usually wins these defensive encounters. So he sees, I can't go forward. Now he might have been able to see it right there, but decides, nope, I'm going to go back. And taking some kind of an evasive driving class, I think is a good thing for most people because using your car is so important. Notice he's got to weave a little bit, and that leaves the first guy out and gets him the heck out of there. Now, I do want to say this. Notice as he stops, that guy who is in the white you know, sweatshirt is probably his first and biggest problem, and going forward, he knows he has other cars there. So, that no problem. That's man versus truck. But that's iron, boy. I'd run the dude over. You were, oh, you, oh, my truck bigger than your body, boy. Oh, it stadium. might have been stadium. wiser for him in this instance to jump the curb to the left because it looks like he's in a pickup truck where he has some ground clearance. And if you have ground clearance, recognize that curbs are merely a suggestion. And you can use that ground clearance to last on the road. advantage. I'm not saying to run the guy over, I'm saying get over on the other side and get away from these cars. Now he doesn't do that, okay fine, I get it, but now that blue car, you know, this blue little SUV is gonna get up in his way as and well. Now he's gonna take evasive maneuvers, get around and away from this guy, and I think that's great. Of course, the thing that we haven't seen here is the fact that these guys are not, you know, at least not shooting at him. And that's a very good thing. Remember, your safety lies in your speed with your vehicle. So you got to be ready here. And that's all we're saying. No shots fired. Wait a minute. Why isn't this guy armed himself or whatever? We see that guy get out of the way. Okay, fine. And now is our good guy's going to get the heck out of the way and go? You'd ask the question. Well, wait a minute. You know, he's in Texas. Why wouldn't he be armed himself or something like that? I'm telling you, man. You got. Who the hell is in this nigga as Walker the Texas Ranger? It's like twelve of them niggas. Well, my little gun. Nah, buddy. Nah, you can't fight. Come on now. Some battles you run. Don't don't let nobody trick you. Oh, you're a punk. You run. Yes, nigga. I don't like to get my ass beat. That's why I run. Gotta recognize. I've been to Mexico many times, and if you cross the border into Mexico and you get caught with a gun, you're gonna do a lot of years in federal oh. prison in Mexico, and there is no bill of rights there and nothing to protect you. So most people, I think, won't carry their firearms down there even through this kind of stuff. Makes and again, sense. I am the weapon. Everything else is just a tool. And I think our defender here used his vehicle well. So keep your wits about you. Keep thinking. Evasive driving is your friend. Use that ground clearance and that horsepower that you have to get the heck out of the danger zone and cover your ass. That's a lead. That's a lead. That's a lead. Okay, so that's basically teaching you guys how to use your, your ride as a weapon. My, what I would have done different was, but nigga, what? You try to play me? What? You try to warn me by the border? What? Listen, everybody getting slapped in my truck door. Bright, 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 bright. You getting slapped. You getting slapped in that truck door. But well, mind you, <laughs> I'm doing the dash, bro. What take it safe? <laughs> fuck a beat. I ain't trying to be the case. Wait, fuck a beat. I'm trying to be the case. But I'm be the case, so bitch, I did the race. But anyway, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more of these, you know, low self-defense, uh, sorry, these are, sorry, let me know if you guys want to see more of these low self-defense videos, you know, just let me know, I'll try to get to it, alright? But with that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome day, be happy, be blessed, and remember the world is yours. Peace.